Welcome to week three of Knowing God Personally. The last two weeks of Advent, we explored how we can get to know God in His Word, the Bible, and that forming a habit of regular time with God is an important step in knowing God personally. We also looked last week at how God doesn't want us to fail and that He draws close to us as we seek Him. This week, I have great news once again. Friendship with God is enjoyable. You know, a book about prayer fell into my lap during a really tough time in my life. I remember during that difficult time, someone seemingly randomly dropped off a huge stack of religious books at our house. One in particular caught my attention. It's called Enjoy the Lord. And when I first heard that title, I actually laughed. It sounded odd to me. I didn't understand what it could mean to enjoy God. So I shrugged it off, tossed it aside, But for some reason, a few days later, I picked it up. And in retrospect, I believe that book was God's way of showing up for me in a closer, more personal way than I had experienced before and at a time when I really needed to know God personally. The book was about spending time with God in prayer and it had a real emphasis on the personal relationship. This opened the door to me, understanding what a personal relationship with God could really look like And I found myself enjoying God the more I made it a routine. I remember once sitting near Lake Michigan on Loyola's campus, just watching the waves and just thanking God for being right there in that peaceful moment with me. I I really felt him there and I was enjoying that simple time just being with him. And enjoying God makes sense when you think about any other good relationship. We enjoy good relationships, right? Just being with that person puts us at ease. We can be ourselves, we can laugh and cry. We enjoy being with that person. Why should it be any different with God? This past Sunday was what we call Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete means rejoice. And we heard multiple scripture passages about joy and rejoicing. Isaiah serves as a great example of someone enjoying the Lord. He says, I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. And Mary says in the Magnificat, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In the second reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, which we also heard this past weekend, he says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. I don't think it's an accident that rejoicing and prayer are together here. And I hope that as we, as we begin week three of Advent, those of you who are doing the Two Minutes with God challenge and anyone who has formed a habit of regular time with God have found that time to be enjoyable. And I think the more we keep at it, the more we'll discover that time with God, getting to know God more personally, produces a deep abiding joy that's hard to shake. And you can still participate in the December Two Minutes with God Challenge by going to stjoseph-libertyville.org slash learn and subscribing to our homily series emails, which will include the Two Minute Challenge. Don't forget, let us know you're doing it by hitting the button below the Two Minute Challenge video in the email. So spend time with God who loves you more than you can know and enjoy it.